ever do. When the kids start singing and the band begins to play. Oh, oh, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Ah, Charlie. Hello. Well, to be fair, that is a bit after your time. Anyway, enough about Christmas songs for now. I'm going to be singing a lot later. But did you find everything all right? Yes. My room was more or less where I left it, which seems odd since it's been how long? A uh, few thousand years, maybe more. Since I was here? And you kept my room that long? Yep. Think of it like this. The TARDIS is like a giant filing cabinet where every room is a file, right? Yes, following. So your room was put in the back of the cabinet for a while, and the TARDIS just got it out. I'll have to remember that when I see my doctor. Indeed. Oh, actually, in the meantime, I've been making progress on that. I should... What is it? One moment. Ah. That time again, then. What time again? Uh, just a quick visit I have to make. Yeah, sorry. Look, Charlie, I'd rather be taking you somewhere nice for Christmas. I love Christmas. The lights, the music, the plum pudding. Oh, oh Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without plum pudding. Cousin? Oh, don't worry. Spoilers. Spoil? Oh, never mind. So, why are we here? I need to check something. Check what? The nightmare. That's the least reassuring thing you could have possibly said. Oh, isn't it just? All right, go on then. Just what is this nightmare? A horror. Oh, wonderful. Sorry, but I mean, it's a horror with a capital H. An entity from beyond the universe itself that seeks to hurt the things in the universe. Slash universe is. And that was meant to make it sound somehow less terrifying? Um... Probably a bad time to mention that it only goes after children. Yes. This is definitely a bad time to make this horror with a capital H sound somehow even worse. Ah, there. Yep. A teddy bear. In this place. Also, yeah. Is that why we're here? It's a guard. A guard? And triple yep. How could a teddy bear guard anything? You had once a child, didn't you? I... Um, yes. But... Then you should know exactly how good they are at guarding you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Charlie, I'm being deadly serious. These little bears are the only thing standing between your people's children and the nightmare. I find that hard to believe. Ah, uh, yes, no, because it's so much easier to believe that an infantile toy version of a giant animal that would sooner mole a child than protect it suddenly became part of your entire species' cultural lexicon in the space of a decade tops. Not to mention, you're travelling through space and time in a police box that's bigger on the inside of a man who can change his face. Check and mate. 
So, teddy bears are dogs. They are indeed. Against this nightmare. And we have another yet. All right, a doctor. So, why are we here if the teddy bear is guarding this nightmare? Well, every so often. Ever since the teddy bear compact. The what? Oh, a treaty. The thing that bound teddy bears to the defense of the human children. Right. I'm following, mostly. Well, as I was saying, every so often after the teddy bear compact, the nightmare breaks out and threatens a couple of children. As part of the compact, I have to help out. Why you? <laughs> John, think about this for a moment. Little innocent creatures coming together to protect the children of the universe from terrors beyond their imagining that grown-ups couldn't even begin to fathom. Where else do you think the biggest child in the universe is going to be? After all, I'm the Doctor. A valid point. What are you doing now? Well, actually, most studies don't speak the way that you'd understand. So, I'm making psychic contact. Now shush. I see. Come on, Charlie, we've got work to do. Are you all right, Doctor? Yeah, fine, just concentrating. Really? Because, and forgive me if this sounds a little presumptuous, you look troubled. Charlie, I'm dealing with something called the nightmare that's threatening children. I'm hardly going to look glib and cheery. Yes, well, point conceded, but still. Uh, just wait one moment, please, Miss Pollard. Right. We're here. All right, so what do we do? You wait here. I beg your pardon? You wait here, I go deal with this. Should I take about two ticks? Doctor! Leaving me here, out of the adventure. Typical. Right, fine. I can wait here. Nothing stopping me sitting and having a cup of tea. Oh, for the love of... But... This is... Charlie! I told you to stay in the TARDIS. But, Doctor, this is... Charlotte. 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 Doctor, please tell me I'm only imagining that. You aren't. Charlotte Pollard, the girl who is supposed to die. Doctor, that... that shadow... I see it! Get back! There is no one to protect you. Get back! What? Pats? Go back to the darkness, Nightmare. You will not trouble this one. He's a teddy bear. Of course he can. The hopes and dream of all children sit within all of them. Against that psychic power, nothing can win. Especially not a half-formed monstrosity like you. Get
go back to the nothingness, monster. You cannot pass. Doctor, is it done? It's done. You did it. And I thank you. And you helped. The terms of the compact are kept. And this is her. The child I've come to protect. This is the one. I look after her. She's got a long way to go. She'll change the lives of many people. I think we can both agree she deserves a little Christmas present. And make sure she stays safe. Doctor's orders. Aye. I will. Doctor, that child, that's... Come on, Charlie, we need to go. This way. I'm going to get you back to my younger self. Mr. Frocko. And you'll tell me the story. All the children of the world, all being protected by the teddy bears and other soft toys that sleep in their beds. The unbreakable defense against the horror and nightmares beyond our reality. That only children can see. The compacts between a child and a teddy bear. <laughs> and I very much look forward to hearing that story. Right then, things to do, gotta try and get you home. Oh, but before I forget, Merry Christmas, Charlie Pollard. Yes, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas, I suppose, to all the teddies of the world, too.